Previously, we've built this report in FRX that shows all the assets, all the liabilities and equity, and the difference between the two is the year-to-date net profit, all the revenues, all the expenses, and the difference between those is the net profit, and it compares the two net profits to make sure they're the same thing. Now, let's take this report and make a copy of the report and add not only the month-to-date column that includes all account numbers, but add an, a, a column for each department. So, let's close out the drill down viewer and do this now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just copy my catalog. So I'll click on clone and I'll call this departmental. Okay, And I'm going to save. Now let's open up the column format. We're going to keep the same row format but we're going to create a new column format. So we'll do a file save as and we'll take off month to date and say department. Now the first thing I want to do is get rid of the two field columns. And let's also get rid of the year to date column. So we have our description of our account number from our row format and we have the month to date which includes everything. Now first thing we need to know is how many departments there are. So I'm going to open up GP and under financial and setup I'll choose segment and let's take a look at our department. So we have 00, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and we have 99.99 which I believe is just our suspense account. So I'm going to cancel that and go back into FRX. So let's just do a copy that would be 100 or 0, 0, 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, let's right arrow, 500, whoops, 500, 600, 99.99. So now we have our a column that we'll use for the entire month. So we'll put down here, let's just come in here and say um, okay so let's take all these columns that we have for the month and we're going to cut them and paste them on row 2. Then in row 1 we'll come up and we'll say all and we'll choose a font style and we won't underline that. So now I'm going to copy that across just to save my font styles, make them a little bit easier. But here I'll come in and type in 000 100 200 just saves me a little formatting time for each particular column 300 400 500, 600, and 99.99. Now the value here is that we can do comparisons on certain account numbers by department. Now one thing we may choose to do is tell it to restrict a column if it's all zeros. So under print control we'll come in and we'll say suppress column if all zeros. And again I'll just copy this and this is done on, again on the print control line so that if there's no uh, activity for that particular department it won't appear on the report and it makes the report less cumbersome to read by having a whole column of, that's either blank or nothing but zeros. So now we put it, need to put in the restriction that defines it by department. So to do that we'll come into the reporting unit, excuse me, the account filter and we'll just come in here and start typing. So here it would be like zero, zero, zero and then all question marks. And we'll say OK. And here, we'll choose from the drop down list, and you got it 100 and all question marks. And we're going to follow this same step all the way across so that each department is identified. And again, our first column 
will include all departments. So it essentially it's going to be a total. And that's another way we could do it. We could just total up the columns. And if you want, you could also build in where you're totaling the columns and you hide that column and then you create a calculation and if it's zero, you can suppress it as well just like we did on the column format to ensure you have all your columns intact. Sometimes that's a smart thing to do. Alright, so we have that set. So I'm going to save that, close it out. Let's make sure we change and use our new uh, column format. Oops, it was in a row. There we go. We use our new column format. We're going to save that and let's generate. And now we have this incredible report. Now you notice we have some discrepancies here because we're doing comparisons between net profit and uh, between the two net profit accounts. So we may want to just completely hide this all together. Because our net profit here is always coming stemming from zero zero zero, where here it's not. So one of the things that we may choose to do is uh choose to only print the out of balance for this particular column. So let's do that now. So if we go back to our row format, we can see the column that we'd want the out of balance to print for is column B. So we'll come into our row format and scroll to the bottom. And here we're going to just type a B in the column called column the column G, meaning only printed in the column B. Suppress it everywhere else. So we'll save that, we'll close out our row format, and we're going to regenerate the report. And although the out of balance line still prints, and the reason it prints is because we have um, out of balances on the other columns. At least you could see there are no out of balances for this report. I like to reuse rows and columns whenever possible. It just saves a lot of work. But this is a great way to do comparisons all the way across. So we can look at pantry expense for every department and get, have an idea of how they how they roll. Great. I hope this helps.